going on guys so I just wanted to record a little bit of night driving and so I'm on the way to work right now showing these old yellow headlights so that's high beam that's low beam and yeah definitely not the best um excuse my windshield is starting to fog up a little bit but yeah um, those headlights are definitely not the best so yeah, uh, got something for that. So guys, these are some new LED headlights that I'm giving a try from a company, which I don't want to mess this up, but Barcella. Y'all probably can't see that because I got it on the mirror on the phone, but yeah, Barcella sent me these. Uh, they actually reached out a while back when, um, well, they reached out a while back and I asked for some for Nisha's Pilot but then uh, the transmission ended up going out shortly after so we also have a set for that that I'm going to be installing in just a few minutes but I thought this was kind of neat so it's got this little plug and play quick connect thing y'all see that like I thought it was kind of neat so it just goes together just like that and then you slide this little threaded part on and tighten it down and you have a seal connection so i thought it was pretty cool neat little box and um yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this other one installed and then i'll try to jump onto the pilot This is a little clip of what the LEDs look like now instead of the stock one. So in this same clip, I'm gonna place the video that I took before I put these in so you can try to see a little difference in it. But um, yeah, these are super bright. Uh, I'm still trying to learn how to work them because these bulbs are the ones that you can change the color on the fly. So like, for some reason when I hit the high beam, it, it, it does like, it seems like it's blinking another color and, you know, a bright color. So, but if I keep it on high beam and turn the headlight off and back on, it'll change comp colors completely. So, yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. But once I do, I will uh, let y'all know exactly how that works. But yeah, this is pretty much the setting that I normally use anyway at night because this is like a super super bright white color like a really clean color so All right, guys, so in the last clips you saw, we put some new LEDs in this um, pilot and in the Dodge Ram. But as you can see, these headlights are completely shot. 
Hopefully we can fix these today. I did the same process a while ago for a couple sets of um, CG headlights that I had laying around and it came out really nice. So we're gonna try to repeat that today on the pilot's headlights, the Ram's headlights, which I took out again, they're laying on the floor. And then I also have this set of CG headlights that I'm gonna go ahead and do along with the uh, other two sets. And that'll be three more sets done. The only downside is, guys, this time I could not find the Spray Max clear in the can. So I ended up having to get a um, actual clear that we're gonna have to spray out the gun, which is good and bad to it. But yeah, this is the stuff that I really wanted. But um, the only store that had one can had the actual, like the matte, not the glamour and the glamour is what we want we want to shine to it so um that being said i end up getting the kind that you actually have to mix and we're just going to spray it out of a harbor freight gun and uh, i think we can get some pretty decent results anyway with it and we can control that better so we won't be wasting it and that one can of spray max is still about 30 bucks whereas the uh i got like a pint yeah about a pint of clear and the hardener for like 42 bucks. So I believe that's gonna go farther than that did. So um, yeah, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get all these headlights sanded down. I'm gonna do 220 to knock all the clear off. And then we're gonna do uh, 800 to smooth it out a little bit. If you were trying to polish, then you wouldn't go as, as low as 220. You would probably go, um, I say, 800 a thousand maybe 1500 and, and maybe even 2000 and then do your polishing but we're doing all new clear so it's better just to get a nice scuffed surface so that uh, when we spray the clear it can adhere like it should and uh last a long time so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and start sanding this stuff i will catch up with y'all once we get everything sanded down that's all done with 220 everything i'm not sure how these dodge headlights are going to come out because i didn't even notice but they're like they're 3d so that was kind of that was tough getting that sanded down but yeah everything truck everything's done with um 220 now i'm gonna go around wipe everything down with some alcohol and then we're gonna hit it with 800 and then we can wipe it down with alcohol again and then we should be ready to spray Guys, that's the first light mist coat. The the way I do my restoring headlights, I always do a mist coat first, and then after the mist uh, dries for about five, 10 minutes, then I'll do a heavier wet coat, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't take three, four coats of clear on headlights, guys. Um, the more, I guess, you could do a couple coats, but Honestly, the more you do with a, something clear like a headlight, it can turn yellow because you're putting it on so thick. So you kind of don't want to go too ham, but like I said, man, a good coat, uh, one good wet coat will last a long time. So um, don't be feeling like you got to lay it on really thick if this is your first time. And again, I'm not a professional at this. I'm, I'm back here using a Harbor Freight uh, spray gun that I found in the corner back there didn't clean it out of nothing So that's already a mistake, but it looked it clean looked like I cleaned it the last time before I used it well before I put it up so um, Yeah, but I'm using it uh, I'm not the paint conditions aren't the best it is nice and warm today So they are they are gonna dry good, but yeah, I'm just in my backyard guys doing it So this is definitely something that you can tackle at home it sounds to be a bit windy outside today, so I don't know how this would work if I didn't have a shop, but um, again, I'm no professional. I don't have a paint booth. I test patterns on my wall back there. So yeah, something to keep in mind, guys. You don't have to be a professional to do this, and you can save a lot of money, and um, it's just cool having some DIY stuff going on. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit, flash off a little bit, and then uh, we'll come back with a second uh, a bit wetter coat and that should be it.
So guys, it's the next day. Um, all the lights are pretty cured up. Everything's good to go. I just did an oil change on the pilot, so Big Lizzie is now ready for the highway. Um, I'm gonna get this bagged out and get my truck headlights thrown in. Yeah, guys, these headlights look damn good. I'm super proud of how they came out. And uh, see how they look with the LEDs on real quick. Damn, can y'all see that? I mean, that's crazy. Super, super clean. Looks a whole lot better. So, I got a fresh set now, sitting on the shelf for whenever we need them. But I will tell you, a I don't know what they're called, but we call them stink bugs had landed in this top headlight and left one damn spot. I don't know if I can find it now. It's like right there, if you can see it. So, I don't know. I may, because again, I do have uh, another set I'm going to be clearing. And my brother did say that he wants to clear his as well. So, I may just say effort and sand it back down and uh, respray it just to get that, you know, perfect. But other than that, the bottom one is beautiful. The top one looks good. And uh, yeah, they're pretty much ready to go for the next project we throw them in. Here's a look at the rim. Again, really sweet looking. And then here's the pilots. The pilots really came out good. Like them things look like brand new. Crazy. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smack the like button. I will catch y'all next time. Remember, respect all bills. Peace out.